Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed. And today we're here exploring the Space Needle in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> oh. You hear that right, you guys? Today we're exploring one of the most recognizable structures in the United States and in the world. If you're not aware, I'm making a video series here in Seattle. So we've been going to a lot of iconic locations in the city, including the waterfront, Pike Place Market, uh, the Fremont Troll, etc. So if you're interested in any of that content, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. The objective of this video is very simple. To tell you guys a little bit about the history of this place and then explore inside to see what there is to do and see. So if you guys are interested, Come with me. I think I mentioned it in one of my other videos. My girlfriend and I actually got like a pass that uh, has like a lot of the different attractions here including museums, the aquarium, and the Space Needle is included. If you check it out, that is the line over there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to skip it. There's some like ticket boots right here. Let me show you. So there's some ticket boots right there. I don't know if this is gonna help us skip the line, but let's see what happens. Got our tickets, guys. So we do get to skip this line, but we have to make our way through this entrance right here. All right, so make sure to keep those tickets for today. Strongly recommend getting City Pass if you're considering visiting the Space Needle and other attractions here around Seattle. Just making our way in. They're gonna take a picture of us before going in. Waiting for the elevator now. Welcome everyone. We are flying at five miles an hour. It is the half speed of the normal elevators. We will expand 82 seconds to the top. The Space Needle was built in 1962 by the World's Fair. On the right side, we have a Puget Sound, salt water, who is part of the Pacific Ocean. On the end of the view, in front of us, we have a Mont Rainier. It is an active volcano, but today it looks so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a beautiful time. Thank you. I would like to tell you guys a little bit about the history of this place. The Space Needle was built in 1962 for the World Fair, also known as the 21st Century Exhibition. It was of course hosted by the city of Seattle and it was an opportunity for Seattle as well as the US to show the world the advances in technology and innovation that were occurring here in this country. Around this time, the space race against the Soviet Union was also going on. So the theme that was selected for this exposition was none other than the age of space. This is a Seattle icon as it represents the innovative and forward-thinking spirit of this city. The structure stands at 605 feet tall. To put it into perspective, it towers over the Statue of Liberty it just clears the pyramids in Egypt, but it's only about half the height of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. The last thing I wanna mention before looking around is that it was just renovated last year on 2018, and I'm really excited to show you what those renovations were all about. So if you're interested, I am too. Let's do this. first thing you see whenever you step outside of the elevator is this enclosed area right here at the very top. There are benches here so if you're a person that gets too cold you can chill from here and also get a good view of the city. Check it out. Beautiful downtown just right there and you don't have to get cold. This is also where you find the cafeteria or the cafe or whatever. If you get hungry or if you were hungry before coming here and you want to grab a snack you have to check this place out. It's called Atmos Cafe. Like atmosphere, you get it? So we made it here to the front of the line in the Atmos Cafe. We're gonna try out some of the food they have here. Our food is ready, you guys. Our hot dog. Before, there you go. 
good? Thank you so much. We got our food. Now looking for a place to sit. Nice. One way you can experience the view is actually from this place. While you're eating, there's actually tables set all around near the cafe. You can just grab your food, sit down, and admire the cool views outside if there's no one covering you. Right next to the tables, there's actually a mini bar. Check it out. They have beer and wine. They also have ice cream and chips right there. And if the tables right next to the windows are too busy or that's not your thing, there's actually a normal sitting area around the place. Still a good option to check out all of the views. This is also the place where you can search for your selfies. You can check yours and everyone else's. Check this out. Imagine your picture could be here for years and years to come. Let's move on to the next section. Another way to experience this place and the views around this structure is going through the Oculus stairs right here. The Oculus stairs take you from one viewpoint to the next. I don't know if you can see, but over there you can see the very bottom of the Space Needle. That's where we were at the beginning. That's the fountain that is right in the front. This is when you realize how high you are. Check it out. People look like ants. Not even that. They look like microbes or something. We're heading down. These stairs actually take you to the revolving glass floor. This is one of the things that they added after the renovations from last year. Check it out, you guys. So basically, this is another level where you can catch amazing views, but the catch is that the glass floor rotates. I don't know if you can tell, but the floor is rotating right now. And you can see straight down. Check it out, you guys. We're floating. <laughs> We're floating and you can actually see the system working. Check it out. It feels like you're inside of a clock or something. More beautiful views to the side. It's so amazing guys. It's such a clear day actually. You can actually see the mountains like super far away. This is the perfect day to come to the Space Needle. This new addition is called the Loop and I gotta say it's really cool. You can have Seattle at your feet and an amazing 360 degree view of the city of Seattle without even having to move. Downtown right over there. Past downtown is Mount Rainier. That is the highest mountain here in the state of Washington. Not only that, but it is also an active volcano. The only word I can come up with to describe this guys it's pretty cool. I've seen a lot of people taking pictures like lying down on the glass. A lot of people are just walking with their shoes. I don't know where they've been. And a lot of people are just chilling there laying on the floor. I guess what doesn't kill you oh, makes you stronger. That's the bottom of the space needle, you know, guys. On the other side, you can catch a view of uh, Gasworks Park. We actually visited that park yesterday. If you want to watch that video, make sure to go into my channel and check the other videos I did on Seattle. And just down here, we can see the shadow of the Space Needle just looming over all these buildings and cars. Going up the stairs once again, you guys. That was really cool, guys, getting to see the rotating glass platform. But I do gotta say that the crown jewel of this place has to be the open air observation deck. And we're gonna go ahead and explore it right now. Check this out, you guys. Whoa, so amazing. Check it out. It is chilly out here. Even though you see the sun, I still don't think my two jackets are enough. One of the new additions to this place include these benches right here. These are a little bit inclined, as you can see. It's kind of like swooping down. You can sit down, prepare to take a picture, and you will have an amazing backdrop right behind you. Check this out, guys. The most popular benches, or sky risers, as they call them, are the ones right in front of downtown. It gets really crowded, but I think it's worth it. This place is amazing for getting amazing pictures to show your family or for social media, as it gives you a 360 unobstructed view of the entire city of Seattle. And in days like this, you can see everything. If you ever come to Seattle, 
remember to make some time to come to the Space Needle. You definitely won't regret it. The amazing views, perfection. That was such a fun experience for me guys. I hope you guys think the same. And if you do, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos just like this one. I don't know if there's a better place to end this video than right here, right in front of the Space Needle. Just to remind you guys to be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.